All right, we're getting word that tomorrow, uh, there had been uh, whisperings that it might be today, but tomorrow the administration is going to be declaring a national climate emergency uh, to address, uh, obviously, the backdrop, the rising uh, price, uh, I'm sorry, rising temperatures certainly going on throughout much of the continent of Europe and now uh, wide swaths of the United States here. We're not aware of the, uh, the executive action he plans to take to deal with this, or as Joe Bastardi was pointing out from uh, Weatherbell, the chief meteorologist, whether it's even necessary, especially now at a time of high energy prices. But he's going to say something and outline some plans to take action on his own, uh, where he says bulking Republicans have stopped him at every pass. Uh, the read on all of this from Suzanne Clark, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the president and CEO. Suzanne, much to get into, including this tariff situation that the president is ready to sound almost poised to, to dump, not all of them. But on, on this climate change action, no doubt a lot of the measures he might be considering, uh, business will have to pick up the cost. How do you feel about that? Look, it's interesting what, what your previous guest just said, which is we need to rely on free enterprise, on business, on technology, on innovation to solve complex problems. And that is not government's role. It's the private sector's role, and they should let us do it. So if he's doing all of this by executive action, Suzanne, it depends, you know, your point of view on, you know, executive orders, uh, you know, statements. Uh, but obviously it wouldn't pass muster in a court but it would force businesses to, to enact some of these changes he will no doubt outline. We don't, we don't even know what they are, Suzanne, so I apologize for that. We know he's cooking up something, and it's a good bet it's going to come at your members' expense. You know, I think you just made a really important point, which is we're doing way too much by executive order and by unelected regulators and bureaucrats, right? We have a Congress. They're duly elected by the people to solve the big problems. We're watching this across the administration right now. Large regulatory overreach, the rewriting of decades of bipartisan consensus and policy in black boxes where business can't even figure out what the rules are. And so to your point about them ultimately being decided in the courts, as you know, we're just suing the FTC. We're looking at other suits that may be, be coming on other agencies because we've got to understand what the rules of the road are. And government needs to understand where its, you know, authority stops. You know, um, now onto the area we were booking you for before this breaking news, which you handled very well, Suzanne. I appreciate that. Um, the, the president considering lifting tariffs that were imposed in the Trump administration, not all of them, but a good many of them. Um, obviously, American consumers pay those tariffs, uh, but they would benefit China if, they, if Americans more than were able to buy those Chinese goods. How do you feel about that? Well, you're right that it's complex, right? China's a big market. We want to be able to sell into it. We want to be able to buy things from it. At the same time, we need to confront the human right abuses, the IP theft. So it takes a complex, nuanced set of tools, set of partnerships, alliances, trade agreements. But these tariffs have been a really rough instrument that doesn't seem to have punished China at all, but is costing American families, by the CEO's estimate, $1,200 a year. So let's relieve the pressure on American families and businesses and cooperate with China, collaborate with China, and confront China with tools that will actually work. Got it. Uh, Suzanne Clark, U.S. Chamber of Commerce, President and CEO, thank you very, very much.